Now I will create a database. Here there are folder and file tables. I will change the database name at the end configuration. At home, you, I will write a function get data to retrieve folder data, files from database. The data function returns an object with two empty arrays, folders and files, which will be populated with data from the API later. The created hook is a lifecycle hook that is called when the component is created. It calls the getData method, which will fetch data from an API endpoint. The getData method is an asynchronous function that uses Axios, a popular HTTP client library, to make a get request to an API endpoint at API slash home slash getData. The second parameter of the Axios get method is this, form data, which is not defined in this code snippet. It is likely that this form data is defined elsewhere in the component and contains data to be sent with the get request. Next I will create a route get data and a home controller for getting data from the folders and files table. I will insert some sample data into the folders table and files for retrieval and display in the interface. The function is named getDataHome, and it appears to be responsible for fetching data from two database tables and returning them in an array. 
DB Table Forders Get Query is the database table named Forders using the Laravel Query Builder. It retrieves all the rows from the table and stores them in the dollar Forders variable. DB Table Files Order by ID Desk Get Query is the database table named Files using the Laravel Query Builder. It retrieves all the rows from the table and orders them by the ID column in descending order. The resulting rows are stored in the dollar $files variable. Return forders forders files files creates an array with two keys forders and files and assigns the values stored in the dollar forders and dollar $files variables respectively to these keys. Finally, the array is returned as the output of the get data home function. Okay, the data from the API has been returned. At network and console log, there is data for folder and files. Now I will set folder and file to state and use V for to map the folder data to the screen. With file, I also map the same. I will use the route link to redirect to the Forder creation page when clicking on the icon. In Route.js, I will declare a route for create Forder. In the app.js layout on the back button, I will right click route go one for going back to the previous action. At Forder Create, I will add an input tag named Forder and a Create button.
To set the title of each page, in the Layouts app, I will create a computer to change the title of each page. This title is configured at the JS route. At Forder Create, I will create a function to send the create data to the backend to save in the database. This code defines an asynchronous function called create forder that uses the await keyword to make an asynchronous call to a server using the Axios library to create a folder. Inside the function, the try block wraps the asynchronous call to Axios post and API forder create this form data. This call sends a post request to the API forder create endpoint of the server, passing in the form data stored in this form data as the request payload. create a route and a forder controller for inserting data from view submission. The function is defined with the name create and a parameter called dollar $request. The dollar $request parameter is an object that represents an HTTP request sent to the web application. The function starts by calling the validate method on the dollar $request object. This method checks if the name field in the HTTP request is present and not empty. If the field is missing or empty, the method will throw a validation error. If the validation succeeds, the function proceeds to the next line where it inserts the entire contents of the HTTP request into the forders table using the insert method provided by the Laravel Frameworks DB class. The insert method will take an associative array of key value pairs. The response from the server is destructured using object destructuring syntax and assigned to a variable data. The code then checks if data exists and is truthy, and if so, it uses the view router library to navigate to the home route. If the asynchronous call to the server encounters an error, the catch block is executed. The code uses the sweet alert to library to display an error message to the user. The error message is obtained by accessing the response and data properties of the error object and then accessing the message property of the datum object. OK Forder has been created successfully. See you in the next video, bye.